Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathesiasm. Today I want to show you a proof of trigonometric identity without any written steps. We all know that sine 10 degrees plus sine 50 degrees is not equal to sine 60 degrees. However, how do we know that it's equal to sine 70 degrees? Everything starts with three parallel lines, L1, L2, and L3. Let's take one point from each line and join them, so that it's an equilateral triangle. Denote the three points as A, B, and C. To prove the identity, we hoped that the two angles at point A are 10 degrees and 50 degrees. But the next question is, where is 70 degrees? First of all, we look at the two red angles. Both of them are 10 degrees because they are the alternate angles of the two parallel lines L1 and L2. Next, let's look at the two green angles. This time, we consider the two parallel lines L2 and L3. Likewise, they are both 50 degrees. Now, if we focus on the red equilateral triangle, then this angle at C is 60 degrees. On the straight line L3, the sum of three angles is 180 degrees. Therefore, the angle on the right is 70 degrees. Okay, we have 10 degrees, 50 degrees, and 70 degrees. So, how to obtain the sign of them? We need some right-angled triangles. Let's draw the perpendicular line from point A to the straight line L1. Denote the point as D. We do the same from A to L3 and call the points E. We draw one more from B to L3 and let the point F. We need some more lengths as well. Let the side length of the equilateral triangle be 1. We are ready to figure out some more lengths now. Let's look at the red triangle on top. Because AD is the opposite side of 10 degrees and the hypotenuse is 1. Therefore, AD divided by 1 is equal to sine 10 degrees which is simply AD is sine 10 degrees. Great, we get a first sine term. Are we gonna use the same strategy to get sine 50 degrees and sine 70 degrees as well? Let's check it out. Next, we look at the green triangle at the bottom. Because AE is the opposite side of 50 degrees and the hypotenuse is also one, therefore, by the same idea, we have AE is equal to sine 50 degrees. Where is the next triangle to look at? Right, it's the blue triangle on the right. By the same token, BF is equal to sine 70 degrees. Now, you can see that the lengths of DE and BF are equal because the distance between the two parallel lines L1 and L3 is always a constant. So we get the identity sine 10 degrees plus sine 50 degrees is equal to sine 70 degrees. But this is not the end of the story. If we make use of the identity sine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine theta, then we can change the form of all sine terms. Now, we can get cosine 20 degrees is equal to cosine 40 degrees plus cosine 80 degrees. The three angles differ by a factor of two. That's something about the double angle formula. Can you use the same figure to prove this identity? Cosine 20 degrees is equal to cosine 40 degrees plus cosine 80 degrees. More generally, can you give a visual proof of the identity sine theta plus sine 60 degrees mass theta is equal to sine 120 degrees mass theta? Tell me your idea in the comment section below. If you'd like to know more interesting math problems, please check out the links of my videos and playlists shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.